My name is Brantley Lingerfelt and I'm the owner of Lingerfelt Machine Works. Today I'm going to show you some different work holding fixtures that you can use in your mill and your lathe. So the first one I'm going to show you is my 4 inch vise that I have in my mill here. This particular one is a Glycerin Machine Tools. It's a great little vise, perfect for the small parts that I do because I specialize in micro machining. Perfect, it fits perfect in this little machine. I have no complaints about it. One little option you can add on to the, pretty much any vise is this little speed handle. These things are great. You put it in, you can spin it, open it up, open and close it fairly quickly. It's a lot easier than the standard flip handle that comes with every vise you get. So the next fixture I'm going to show you is my Hardinch 5C clamp block. I love this little fixture. It's one of the best things I've ever bought to go in this mill. And I'll show you how it works. So the way this works is you take a 5C collet. All my collets are hardened, hardened too, so everything matches up. You can use any collet. I like hardinch. They're some of the best in the world. So that, that's, that's what I use. The way this works, you put this in here, you thread it, you thread it down just a little bit. And then you can fine adjust how much you're going to clamp onto your part. You don't want to squeeze it too much because you'll crush it. And you don't want to leave it too loose because the part won't hold. These hoses I have run out, I have run up to a regulator here and an open and close valve. So on the regulator, you can adjust your clamping pressure so you don't crush your part. Say you've got a bore inside of, a, um, inside of the part that you're holding on to. You don't want to crush it, so you, you can fine adjust it there for your clamping force. And then you can also adjust it here with your collet. And that is the Hardinch 5C clamp block. Like I said, one of the best fixtures I've ever bought. All right, I've also got my stop set up in here. I was running, running some parts earlier. Awesome little, awesome little tool. Everybody needs a good stop. All right, so next I'm going to show you my six inch Kurt vise. This is the standard flip handle I was talking about. Kurt vises have been the standard in the machine tool industry for many, many years. Great vises. I have no complaints about a Kurt vise. They're all great. You can never go wrong buying a Kurt vise. Now, if you're doing really big work, you, you can always buy this. It's a specialty, specialty little vise. I found it on Amazon. Good for tiny little parts that I do. This six inch vise makes this little, makes this little tiny vise look humongous. <laughs> but there's other little options if you're needing to turn parts uh, sideways or have them at a certain angle, you can put them on angle blocks or wh whatever you need to do. So the next thing I'm gonna show you is my lathe. So what I have in here is my 5C collet chuck. This works the same, pretty much the same way it does on the, on the mill over there, on that little 5C block, but you're in a lathe. So the way this works is the 5C collet chuck is ran to a button on the controller. You can open and close it. You set your clamping force on here, just like you did on the other one. And then it's pneumatic. So everything works it works together. You just you just have to be careful with 5C collet chucks. You gotta make sure your pressure's right. The advantage of using a 5C collet chuck over a regular three jaw chuck is you don't leave marks on your part like you do with a three jaw chuck. Yes, you can you can you can squeeze your parts with a 5C collet chuck here. But you can fine adjust it more than you can with a six inch, um, or, or excuse me, with any three jaw chuck or four jaw chuck. Five C collets are very, very consistent. This is pretty much all I use. And they're, they're great. So five C collets are a great option if, you, if you're doing small parts or you need to hold something very consistent. 
but I will show you a three jaw chuck that I had here. All right. So this is the three jaw chuck. Great tools if you need to do bigger parts. I believe this one's a six inch. I hold up. You can always flip the jaws. You can hold parts here, or you can flip these around and hold bigger diameter parts inside this inside this chuck. Great thing about a chuck like this, there's no nub on the back here. Some uh, call it, uh, some chucks come with a nub. This particular one doesn't, and the reason I like this one better than the ones with the nub on the back is I can take this this uh, three jaw chuck here and mount it in that mill. And the way you do that is you take a, a, a standard clamp set, stone your table, draw, and then set your three jaw chuck onto the table, clamp it down with the clamp, clamp set, indicate everything in, and now you've got a three jaw chuck mounted in your mill. You can also make a fixture plate, that way you don't have to constantly take in and out that, uh, that fixture. It's another great option. And, and if, and if, you, if you have the nub on the bottom, if you make the fixture plate thick enough, you can get around having that nub on the bottom of the chuck. It's a great little workaround. And that is, those are some options that you can use. So that is all I got for you today. And hope you enjoyed the video.